Hey everybody, I just wanted to record a quick video on how to replace the storage drive on the new HP Spectre X360 late 2019 version. There are six screws in total, four are underneath the rubber bumper. Uh, so to get to it, I used a plastic tool and lifted up the corner. Once I had the corner up, I then blasted it with a hair dryer. Though I'm not sure this step was really needed because the rubber bumper came up pretty easily. Once all the screws were visible, I used a Torx screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver to remove all the screws. I also used a little bit of tape on the screwdriver to protect the finish. Once all the screws were removed, I then used my plastic wedge tool to remove the back cover. I started at the hinge and then worked my way around. Here's what it looks like with the back cover removed. To remove the battery, there are six Phillips screws, and then there's a white connector to the motherboard. Here's what the battery looks like. Now we can remove the SSD. However, it's under a metal plate. Using my plastic wedge tool, Starting at a corner, I was able to pry off the metal plate. And here it is, the NVMe drive. So all you have to do is remove the Phillips screw on the left there and just lift it out and then put in the new drive. Once you have the new drive screwed in, then you have to pop the metal plate back on. I would start on the left side to align it correctly. So next, connect the battery back to the motherboard and then screw in those six screws. And then next, put the back cover back on and then snap it all around and make sure it's all snapped back in. At this point, you may wanna test the computer before putting the screws back onto the back cover. Once all the screws are back in, you can go ahead and put the rubber bumper back on. I would start at one of the corners, make sure it's nice and flush, and then slide your finger all the way down until it reaches the other side of the bumper area. And that's it. Thanks for watching.